Hi there, Marcus from Four Pods. Uh, somebody called me the the YouTube guy the other day, and uh, I think that was a compliment. But uh, thank you. All right, so we're setting up a, a loyalty system uh, in Four Pods, and let's go through the basics quickly. All right, so first of all, if you upgrade now to the latest version of Four Pods, which is 23.5 or 23.6. Um, it will uh, offer you the option of enabling loyalty automatically if you selected no because you didn't know what it was about this is how you will set it up store setup and security in the back office obviously uh, and then point of sale parameters and at the here on the screen you can see that you can enable loyalty and you could also have a loyalty barcode prefix uh, more about that later all right so that's step one uh, step two is to go and say all right fine which of your products do you want loyalty on now if you just to double check you can always go and say show selected products and you can go and pick the loyalty items in my scenario i've already got 232 items have been enabled with loyalty you might decide that some of the products you don't want loyalty on and if you want to do it manually you'll literally go in there into any of the products and take the tick out for loyalty all right if you want to do a global update in other words you want to say hang on i want to do many many products you can go to utilities other utilities and do a global update and in the global update you can go and filter by pricing group or however all right and go and select some of the products argument sake let's say all my cold rigs i want loyalty on uh, or not on for that matter okay um, and then once you selected a group or many groups you can obviously select as many as you want here um, you press escape and escape again there is the products that will be affected you press a for all enter and it says there's 106 records that will be affected you say yes and now you can either enable or disable loyalty any which way you want to as you can see so let's say we want to enable loyalty because I didn't do it originally and now you can just simply click on update all right and now the loyalty uh, items or products then has been enabled if I now go back to my I mean stock by detail clear your filter all right and then say okay show loyalty products you'll see that the, this is the result this is the items that um, do have loyalty enabled on them okay all right, so now my products are fine. Um, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at the loyalty grid, um, store setup and security, other maintenance or more maintenance. Then uh, look at the loyalty grid. Now, in terms of the loyalty grid, um, there are some retailers out there that, as you know, give a loyalty card system to their customers and they give them one percent. Okay. Personally, I don't think that's impressive. I, I don't think that's a loyalty. They definitely don't want my business, uh, not for 1%. If they give me something better, maybe 2%, maybe 4%, maybe 5%. And yes, we all understand it's possibly not available, meaning that you don't make that much money that you can, can give 2%, 5% away. But what uh, the loyalty idea is for me personally is that you want the customer to come back to your store. All right, and you you need some way of attracting him other than product and service and smiles and everything else. A typical retailer is a business that sells a product. In most cases, I will not interact with anybody in the store. Literally, just walk into the store, buy what I need to buy, um, pay for it, and leave the store. All right. And that will be typically the experience that many, many other customers will have. Um, they're not really interested in getting into the chats with anybody. Uh, the good old days of saying, how are you, John? How's the family? How's the kids? How's the new school? That is gone. We Nobody does that anymore, unfortunately. Okay, It could be wonderful if it was like that because then we would visit friends and not stores. Okay. Any case, so coming back to the, the grid, the grid itself will allow you then to say from what value to what value does the customer get a certain points. Now you can go and say fine, anything above 100 Rand, between 100 and 199 Rand, I'm going to give my customers two points. If they buy a bigger value, in other words 200 to 299, 
I will give them four points. In other words, I want them to spend more than 200 with me. All right. And anything above 300 Rand, um, which might be the exception in your business. I mean, if you're a butchery, obviously that will be a, a, a quite a high number um, to give away on all sales above 300 Rand because the average sale might be uh, more than 300 in any case in your business all right but again you will pick and play around with it and see how does it apply to your business look at your average basket value see what you want to increase uh, in terms of turnover you want them to spend more than maybe you start off and say my, my, my average basket price is only 48 rand okay if you want to get the customer the same customer now to buy from you 100 rand or 200 rands worth of goods give him something to come back for okay make him hungry um, all right so that's the grid i think it's self-explanatory um, and last thing in terms of the back office that we want to do quickly is just go and look at the loyalty customers so i've just created one loyalty customer on here uh, just for sake of an uh, uh, demonstration you'll see the customer points at zero uh, another customer that's already implemented the loyalty system came back and said but I would like to amend the, the points uh, the idea is not to allow anybody to amend the points because it's a, a reward system if we allow um, people to to literally go and amend it uh, you know now we're sitting with uh, who can allow it and who can edit the, the points and who can't and how to keep record of that in other words somebody goes in and puts a hundred points on there effectively it's a hundred rand you've just given money away all right and how are you going to control that all right so for now no uh, points are, are not editable all right so let's just do another one i'm just going to say barcode is argument sake 555 and this is a customer called test 555 and the mobile number 555 and the idea is again that if the customer loses this key tag card number however you want to identify him on the point of sale he can come back and say well my cell number is XYZ um, can you change my or give me a new card or a new barcode all right and you'll issue a new barcode and that will then his points will automatically be carried forward to him Okay, I think you'll enjoy the concept. It's quite a simple concept. All right, so that's all I want to do in terms of that. And all right, and now we want to go and ring up some sales and see what the effect of that is. Okay, so in the point of sale, let's go and have a look at that first. Uh, in the configuration, in other words, your typical control C, um, you are able to then, if you go and look at option 26 here, loyalty options. Uh, you can say well okay I only want them to be able to scan a barcode uh, for loyalty I don't want them to search for it in other words and then I want to automatically redeem the loyalty points in other words the customer has some points um, when they come in again it must automatically redeem the previous points and give them a discount on the sale all right or um, say that no that must prompt to redeem the points only if it's more than 10 rand now again uh, keeping it simple say well no there's no there's no rules okay uh, every time they come in they can get their points from the previous purchase some of our customers uh, might say but hang on my customers want to keep their points until the end of the year uh, and they will redeem it for Christmas shopping so that they can use the loyalty system almost as a savings account so their savings account might be a couple of hundred points or rands then and that will uh, give them the benefit on that point let's just jump back to the back office quickly i forgot to mention something so if we go to stock create edit uh, other maintenance and then deposits you'll see that there's a new product uh, created automatically under deposits called loyalty and the loyalty would then be a discount on the sale and here you'll specify what the value of that discount will be in other words, if the person has 10 points, it's one rand each per point. Okay, you might decide that no, it's 50 cents or 5 cents or 10 cents. Uh, that will be your choice. Um, and you can still give the customer the same point system. You can watch a, a couple of the other videos. One of our customers uh, sells water. And in his water business, he gives 
uh, one point per liter that they purchase which accumulates then to 100 liters and if they bought 100 liters they get 10 liters for free so in his case the value of the the discount is then 10 cents 100 points 10 cents equals 10 rand which is 10 liters then welcome to have a look and see if that works for you okay let's go back to point of sale so in my point of sale system it's all being configured properly now I'm just going to exit that was the previous sale so I'm pressing escape to get a clean screen I'm going to search and I'm just going to ring up some cold drinks uh, arguments like six coca-colas yes I know that's cheap uh, but remember I'm, I've got a very good discount uh, deal from my supplier right ha ha all right so there's some coca-cola up there and let's just go and ring up I think I rang up briskets uh, as a product as well. Good. And on the brisket uh, itself, I'm going to say my quantity is 0 0.45. Yes, of course, you'll scan it normally, but I'm just entering an amount. Okay, so that gives me 139 Rand. Now, bear in mind that my grid allows uh, sales between 100 and 200 to give me a two point uh, loyalty, right? All right, so my sale is now 139 Rand. The customer is now presenting the, the loyalty slip or card or uh, barcode for that matter, or you will ask the customer, do you have a loyalty? All right, important that part, and we will still see where, how we can force it or uh, into the system to say it must always be requested before we finalize the sale. Otherwise, you'll finalize the sale, customer loses the loyalty points. Okay, so for now, we've added an option on the, on the keyboards here at the bottom, and says request a customer do you wish to select an existing one yes thank you and i'm just going to test uh, use my test 555 customer and there's my loyalty it shows you on the bottom left hand side and now i can finalize the sale as per normal yes i want a receipt okay so your sale is finished let's go and have a look at the back office and see what has happened to that customer that loyalty customer of ours store setup and security more maintenance again and if we look at the loyalty custom, you'll see that my customer has now earned two points. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of other reports that goes hand in hand with the system. Um, if you go uh, load reports, etc., etc., go reporting, and then you'll see there's a whole loyalty part here. Loyalty customer list, points earned, points redeemed, etc., etc. All right, so let's assume the customer comes back into the store now. It's the second time. The next day or the same day whenever next week doesn't really matter and he comes and purchases some more items uh, all right and we go and ring up uh, some other items maybe buys a pair of shoes or whatever the case may be and let's just say he buys a single and buys another 178 rand and so forth and that's all we want to do right now and we want to say press our button do you wish to uh, use an existing customer yes thank you and he now uh, the same customer again we accept him and he now finalizes that sale again it will then prompt him automatically and say well he's got two points from the previous purchase do you want to redeem it yes or no so for now we're going to say literally yes so he's getting the two rand discount so the 178 comes off down to 176 you'll see there's a loyalty discount on the screen and you can you can present or print a receipt for him so that in a nutshell is the loyalty system um, hope it brings benefit to your business uh, hope it increases your turnover and enjoy mm -hmm.